Hello everyone. I am Mahesh Yadav, Head Academics of Allen Career Institute, South India Center. Today, I have a very special student with us who won this bronze medal in IMO last year, happened at Norway. But as we know, as we motivate the student, and then the student is having a such kind of determination that if I have a focus on the gold medal only, then I can do something. And this year, the same history is repeated. He thought about the gold medal and finally in IMO 2023 happened at Japan and he won the gold medal. So first of all, a heartly congratulations to Atul for winning this gold medal which you are wearing now. And it is a proud moment for all our Indians, for the country, for the LM, for the LM Bangalore specifically. So you want to add something, you want to say what was your excitement at the time when your name was announced? So I was definitely very excited and very happy, of course, to be able to win a gold medal. As Sir said, I won a bronze last year and it's a personal achievement for me that I was able to win a gold this year. Something that has happened in the past two decades by only one other person, Pranjal. So it feels very good, of course. And this time, uh, I think if you remember, uh, after 2001, I think this time the result of India in IMO was the excellent because all the six students who went there all won the medal, two got uh, gold medal, two silver medal and two bronze medal. You say something about this journey which has happened in your uh, this uh, tour of Japan. So yeah, as Sir said, it is an incredible result that we were able to achieve as a team overall, not just individually. Uh, yeah, two gold, two silver, two bronze are best performance in the past two decades. And it really means a lot, especially because awareness about Math Olympiad has been growing. And it's nice to see the results of that in India finally making it to the top 10 countries, which is definitely an achievement. Yeah. One more question I want to add here. Atul, uh, what was the role of uh, your parents? Definitely, because they are number one position. Second, the Ellen Bangalore mentorship. Uh, because when the student join Ellen, they we also feel and the student also feel that they have to pursue their career into the IIT, taking CS branch. Because the student like you, definitely you would have uh, deserve for that. So uh, after coming here, what was the role of uh, Ellen mentors and what was the role of your parents in your journey of this one? As you said, of course, parents are first and my parents have been extremely supportive of me. Both of them are engineers, but they never really pushed me to just become another engineer. And they always told me to pursue my passion and I was able to find my passion, which is math. And they supported me throughout the entire journey, helping me find resources, encouraging me to reach out to other people to find out more and all of that. So yeah, without my parents, I would definitely not be where I am today. And as Sir said, initially when I joined Allen, uh, I have been a student in Allen for almost four years now. And when I joined it, I thought it was just preparation for IIT and that they would not be interested in anything else. But much to my surprise, the Allen teachers have actually been extremely supportive of my Olympiad journey and have even encouraged me pursuing pure math and not just CS in an IIT assertion. So uh, it is very important again I would add here because when the student like Atul who joined us and he was performing in his examination of 9th and 10th that time only we were analyzed that he is going to do the best in his IIT examination but when we thought and when we saw his interest more towards the mathematics specifically then our entire team has supported in the same way in spite of forcing him for getting into the IIT or writing all those examination, but you focus main uh, on the uh, for, for IMO examination. Finally, whatever our expectation and whatever parents and Atul's expectation I think came, came true and finally he got the gold medal. Yes, so I want to uh, ask one thing that when when this was announced, then what was your expressions? What was your uh, means? Uh, uh, position at that time uh, in Japan when you announced that you got the gold medal. So after, in fact, both the days of the contests, I was already fairly confident that I would 
do quite well because I solved five problems and had progress on the sixth, which is close to a perfect score. So I already had a feeling that maybe I will be able to win the gold this time. But obviously a gold medal is extremely difficult, so I wasn't entirely sure. But when I eventually found out that the gold cutoff was 32, and I had a score of 37 that I would actually be getting a gold, it obviously felt very incredible. Yeah, I wanted to add one more question here from the Atul. That Atul, uh, means when did you realize that your interest is towards mathematics? Because most of the students, they are not realizing up to 12th class that what they wanted to be. But in your case, they, when, when, when did you get this idea that, okay, I, I should move my, divert myself into that division at that side? So, throughout even middle school, I knew I liked math, but I didn't know there was much to math beyond what I had learnt in school and so on. So, in ninth grade, my dad told me about these real Olympiads, because so far I only knew about those SOF, IMO, SOF, NSO and so on. And initially, I began math more to just challenge myself, because these were problems that I couldn't solve. But then, as I did more and more of math, I realized that it's something I actually enjoyed doing and I realized that it was something that I was actually very passionate about. So I am lucky in the sense I actually figured out what my passion is and that I actually want to do math in the future. And it's true that many students don't like mathematics, but I also feel that Olympiad mathematics is different from what you learn in school. School math may seem uninteresting, but maybe that's also because of the way it's taught, mainly focusing on memorization and rote learning. But Olympiads math is just very beautiful and it actually forces you to come up with creative ideas on your own. And I think it's something that people don't know as much and people should definitely know about. Yeah, rightly said. Now, I, I wanted to add one more thing here that uh, during your preparation, because you wrote your 12th board examination also where you were taking care of physics and chemistry along with your mathematics. As you said, mathematics Olympiad preparation is little different from other. So uh, means how much time you devoted apart from the physics and chemistry to the mathematics or what was your equation for this preparation? So I think most of the time I was largely focusing on mathematics, but as the board exams came closer, I think a month before the board exam started, I knew that I wanted to do well on them. So I sort of reduced the amount of math I did and focused on studying just for those subjects. And yeah, it wasn't easy because obviously every day I just wanted to do more math. But uh, I did study and I think eventually it turned out quite well. I was able to score 95.4% in boards. Super. So along with this preparation, 95.4% he got where, where he and uh, finally targeted was uh, the IMO. Now, one more thing, uh, because you got this medal, definitely congratulations to you and your family. But what is your future uh, plan means what you wanted to become or where from where you want to pursue your uh, uh, means career? Because there is one thing which you want to tell now that finally where you are going. Yes. Yeah, so as Sir said, I'll be doing my undergraduate education at MIT in the US. And I will hopefully be doing a course of mathematics and computer science. And I'm definitely excited for it. And I hope that eventually I'll be able to contribute to research in maths or theoretical computer science. Yeah, wonderful thing. Because last year also from the LN Bangalore, two students went to MIT and this year also Atul along with Megha both are going to MIT. So this is another achievement for LN Bangalore team and the dedication for their students. So lastly, I am going to ask the one important question because this video is going to inspire a number of students who is preparing for the IMO or some other uh, means international level of examination in Olympiad examination. So, uh, Atul, what you want to suggest or what you want to guide for those students who are focusing for such examination for the Olympiad up to the gold level or up to the international level? So, I think if you had spoken to me like a couple of years ago, I would not even have dreamt that I would go to the IMO, let alone win a gold medal. And I think it's not something that you should put yourself down saying that's impossible and it can't be done. I felt that way at one point and 
turns out I managed to win a gold medal after all. So I think it is possible, but obviously it's not something easy. You can't just want to do it and do it. There is a lot of hard work and you'll have to have a lot of determination and you'll have to manage your time, especially in the later grades, managing various things. So yeah, it's definitely going to be difficult. And in Math Olympiad in particular, because its syllabus is so different from what is taught in school and for other competitive exams, I think it's especially difficult and it's great that uh, more awareness has been growing about it recently. And there are a lot of resources available online these days. Uh, I'm mostly self-taught in this aspect because there weren't really that many people I knew around me who were that passionate about mathematics. So there is this website called The Art of Problem Solving, which has great collections of problems. And I think that helped me a lot. And there is also this Discord server called The Online Math Club, where there are weekly lectures on math. And I think they're super helpful. And I would encourage anyone to join that. And it also has its own YouTube channel where various lectures are uploaded. And apart from this, there have been lots of new programs that have been coming up. In fact, I'm the director of this program called the Sophie Fellowship. Mm -hmm. And where we basically, it's all past medalists and past IMOTC people. And we basically choose some students and for free, of course, we train them to participate in these math Olympiads. So I think that's also a great resource. So the, that same thing I was supposed to ask him because when, because he's taking admission for undergrad at MIT and uh, finally he would be there only but the student who is preparing for us definitely we will call you online just to guide and motivate those kids so that they will get the proper idea uh, just to reach up to that level so finally congratulations atul for your success for your wonderful uh, journey with the allen system with the proper guidance of team bangalore definitely his own hard work and dedication which was definitely required at this point of time and achieving such type of achievements and the parental support definitely he told in the earlier part that it is important so congratulations and god bless you all thank you so much thank you sir god bless you